Hi there, this is the second of three videos looking at a topic that's really useful for Excel, that is ranking things and creating lead tables. So let's have a look at what we've done so far. On the first video, we had a look at creating a basic rank formula to do something like ranking some teams or some students. So if you haven't looked at the first video, I'd recommend having a look at the first video first to understand how that formula works. So we're moving on to the second sheet now. And in this sheet, we're going to create the actual league table. So we understand where the students and where the, te uh, the teams lie in relation to each other, but we want to translate that into a league table like the one you might read uh, in your newspaper or something. So how do we do that? Before we get into it, remember you can download um, this file on the Tiger Spreadsheet Solutions uh, website. So go there. Um, you can see it on the right here and uh, download the download file and work along yourself. Excel is a skill, we have to practice it to get better. So certainly try to do it yourself. Anyway, let's get into it. So in order to create this league table, we've got to apply two formulae that are considered advanced um, in Excel, and they are the match formula and the offset formula. So let's have a look at those one at a time. The concept behind the match formula is that you are gonna take a value and then match it within a range of values. So that means the match formula will tell you how far along that range of values your particular value is, okay? Which sounds a little bit complicated and convoluted. The best way is to always do it yourself. So let's have a go. As always, we go for equals and then match and open brackets. It's important to open the brackets because Excel will give you the prompts and it will tell you the information that it's looking for. And the first piece of information in bold there is lookup value. So this is the value we want to find within our range of values, okay? We want to find the number one. So we're gonna click there and then comma. And once you um, hit comma, um, Excel will ask you for the next part of the formula. So we're, this is the lookup array. This is the range of values that we're going to match our value in. So we're going to go for column D just here. And again, we're going to make that reference absolute, which means wherever we copy that formula to, that reference will stay the same. You do that using the F4 key, and we can see that the dollar signs have appeared indicating an absolute reference. Comma again, and then we're looking for an exact match. Don't worry too much about that at the moment. Then we're going to close the brackets and hit enter. Okay, so as always, once we've done a formula, we sense check and try to um, just do some kind of testing in our head to see if it looks like it's worked. It's giving us a six. Now that's telling us that the number one, and one was our lookup value, appears six places along the range of values that we're looking at. The range of values we're looking at is here, that's the first value, nine is the second, and we can see that one is the sixth. That's what the match formula is telling us. The number one is the sixth value in your particular range of values. So that seems to be working well. As always, we're going to um, drag this down, and the quickest way to do that, we're always looking for time-saving techniques in Excel. The quickest way is to double-click on the bottom right-hand corner. So there we go again, quick sense check. So Number eight, it's matched as um, the ninth value and in the range, and that makes sense because it's at the bottom. Okay, great. So that's the match formula. It sounds a little bit complicated and a little bit kind of obscure, but once we understand the application, we'll get it. So let's move on to the offset formula. Okay, so over here. Now the concept behind the offset formula is that we're going to take a particular anchor point or a reference and then move away or offset away from that reference a certain number of rows, a certain number of columns, and the formula will return the value in the cell that we get to, okay? It's useful, it's useful for us because we're looking down a list of students, trying to find a particular student and then slot that student into a slot on our league table, okay? As always, sounds a little bit complicated to explain. Let's take a look. So we're gonna start with equals offset and open brackets, so we get our prompts. The reference is the anchor point, so this is where we're going to start. We want Excel to start looking here, and we're gonna make this an absolute reference because all of the formulae will use the same reference point. F4 key, absolute reference, comma, now, the number of rows comes from our match formula. So we're going to click just here, 
use that reference, and then comma again. From our anchor point, we don't want to move any columns away. The columns is OK, so we're going to have zero. And the rest of the formula we don't need to worry about at this stage. So we can close the bracket there. We've given Excel a reference point, the number of rows to move away, the number of columns to move, to move away. And in this case, it's going to find the student that belongs to that particular rank. OK, I hope this is beginning uh, to come clear. And as always, I would encourage you to try to do this yourself. OK, let's hit enter and see where we get to. So we've got student six. So what it's telling us is that the number one ranked student is student six. So as always, let's do a sense check. Student six has 76, and that's the highest number. So it appears to be working well. Let's double click so the formula comes down. And there we go. Let's do another quick check. So rank nine, student two. Student two has a grade of 44, and that is indeed the lowest number. OK, so this appears to be working well. And that's how we're beginning to move towards a league table. So in the first video, we use the rank formula to find where a value uh, sits within a range of values. And in this video, we've used the match and the offset formula to actually position the students um, in the order that they should be positioned in according to their grade. So we've actually created a league table here. Okay. Great, so I hope you can follow along with that and make sure you join me in the next video.